Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you couldn't tell by the title, this week's video is going to be showing you guys all of the books that I read last year in 2022. So, I'm going to be going off of what I put in Goodreads, um, and if you don't know what Goodreads is, it's this app, or website, that lets you track what books you're reading and how long it takes you to read them. It also um, does a lot of book reviews, you can make your own or you can read others. So I've been tracking my books in here for probably about like, I would say probably like six or seven years now. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to go in and show you guys all the books that I read this year, kind of tell you a little bit about them. Obviously some of them that I read are very popular, so I'm not going to go into detail about them. But some of the other ones I read have are pretty like not well known. So I figured I would tell you guys about them and what I thought of them. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first book I read is Where the Crawdads Sing. Sorry, there's a fuzzy. Um, I don't have that book with me because I let my mom read it. Um, but as everybody knows how the book goes, the movie came out. Personally, I thought it was great. Um, but just the book was a little slow, like for the whole first half of it, I'd say. But second half of it was great. So good book. Um, the second book I read was called The Goal, A Process of Ongoing Improvement, and I read it for class. I read it for like my one of my management classes, so again, it's not really an interesting book. The second book I read was Such a Fun Age by Kinley Reed. Um, this one was also one that I saw on TikTok, so I think it's a really good book, especially if you are into reading books like that. The Next book I read was A Love Letter to Whiskey by Candy Steiner. I thought this one was really good. I, I read all different kinds of genres, um, as you will be able to tell throughout the rest of these. And I really liked that one for the sole purpose of, like, it was just a perfect amount of, like, spiciness, but also the romance and the storyline, so I really liked that one. The next couple of books, you guys are probably going to laugh at me for reading, but... I read the Twilight series um, oh, like right before summer started this year and I read them all within like a month. Like all four of these I read within a month. So um, yeah, I don't even really need to explain it because everybody knows about them, but I did read them all <laughs> in case you were wondering. The next book I read was Milk, Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. Um, I really liked this. I'm not a huge fan of poetry, but I really liked this one, and it's like, I don't know, it's just very interesting, and I did enjoy it, even though I really am not a huge poetry fan. The next one I read was Fifth Avenue, 5 a.m. by Sam Wasson. I, again, I have been reading a bunch of different genres, like I said, um, and I thought this was really interesting. It kind of goes into the story behind Audrey Hepburn and how she came to be the woman she was and I like didn't know a ton about her before I read this book but after reading it I thought it was really interesting to see like how she was brought up into the media and how the role she played you know impacted her life around that so I thought this was really good. The next book I read was Collected Stories of F. Scott Fitzgerald. Um, Obviously, it's a bunch of F. Scott Fitzgerald's short stories, and I am a huge fan of The Great Gatsby, and so I knew that, like, reading this, I was probably going to like it because I love The Great Gatsby so much, and each story was so, um, I don't even know. If you can hear Duncan, he's giving himself a bath. Um, each story was so engaging and captivating and it each story you never wanted it to end and there's probably I'm not sure how many there are in here um, uh, there's a ton maybe like 15 in here um, and it did take me a while to read just because like each story if you know how F. Scott Fitzgerald writes it's very you know it's very literal. It's not literal. It's very literary. So you definitely have to like take the time to think about what he's trying to say. So it's kind of a slower read, but nonetheless, it was amazing. The next book I read, which is another one that I read like multiple times, was To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Um, I 
spent a lot of time at thrift stores this year just like picking up super cheap books and that was one of them and I was like oh I haven't read this since like middle school or high school or whatever so I picked it up again to read I read it again I still think it's a really great book I'm sure pretty much everyone has read it if you're an adult like you would have read it in school but if not go give it a read it's very good and it's a great storyline and <laughs> Duncan is playing in my suitcase anyways um it's a very good book the next book I read was The Ship by Antonia Honeywell. Um, this one was kind of something that like I didn't really know what I was getting into when I when I like read it or when I started it. It took me literally four days to read it. So considering it, that it was very good. Um, it's about a girl. It's like a post-apocalyptic world and this girl's family like basically buys a big yacht or like a cruise ship for her and a bunch of people to stay on to avoid the apocalypse of like whatever or not even apocalypse I don't even know it's like a dystopian type of novel anyways it's very good I liked it um and I gave it a four star. the next one I read was if I did it by OJ Simpson I really liked that book it was so interesting to see it if you know anything about the OJ Simpson trial or murders um it's something like that whole situation is really kind of weird but the book was so good I really liked it and I thought it was so interesting to see how like he wrote a book saying how he killed two people like how I don't know the whole premise behind it is very weird but it was a very good book and it was written very well the next book I read was The Woman Outside My Door by Rachel Ryan and this one was really good. It's one of those like a mystery story like like spooky. I don't even know how to describe it but it was pretty good. I gave it three stars. Um, it wasn't my favorite book but it was a good read and um, I read it pretty quick. The next one I read was All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda. I apparently really liked this one. I gave it five stars. Again, it's a murder mystery and I seemed to kind of gotten more into those gen that genre this past year and I didn't used to read that before so I thought that was really interesting. The next one was Paradox by Katherine Coulter. Um, I gave this one four stars and I read it in about nine days which is pretty good. Um, if I remember correctly, this one was pretty interesting. Again, another murder mystery same kind of you know not the same storyline but same idea you get it so the next two books that i read was this mini series it's far a day road and swopes ridge by ace collins this series um i bought it well i bought the first book at the thrift store and then i would like actually liked it so i was like i'll read the second one it started off as a murder mystery that turned into like some weird like quest to find the truth about a piece of land um and I wasn't expecting it to go in that way but then once I like finished the first book I was too invested in it to like stop reading it so I read them both um it's it was good but it wasn't like my favorite thing in the world I thought they were all I thought it was a good storyline um but it wasn't a murder mystery like I mean people died but it wasn't like a murder mystery if you know what I mean like it was more of an action type of book um, which was still interesting to read and obviously I finished both of those but yeah um, the next one I read was Lost and Found by Carolyn Parkhurst I gave that one a two stars out of ten it was about like a game show but it was a book and it was like about the relationships of all of the people on this game show um, it was interesting, but I didn't love it, and, like, I don't know what I was expecting, but it just wasn't, I don't know. It wasn't the best book I ever read, so, I don't know. The next book I read was Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. This is the first Colleen Hoover book I ever read. Um, it wasn't my favorite Colleen Hoover book, but it's pretty good, so, if you are on your Colleen Hoover kick, you should read that one um, again but it's not my favorite so the next one I read was it ends with us by Colleen Hoover now that I mean those two books are like completely different that book is really good 
it's definitely not like the best book I've ever read. Again, I'm a big Great Gatsby person, but the plot, the detail, the writing, it's very good and it keeps you engaged the entire book. You, It's a page turner, you cannot put it down. Um, in so that I read it in four days. So yeah, I, I gave it five stars. Um, again, if you want to follow me on Goodreads, I will link it down below. But I love that book. Um, and I did end up reading It Starts With Us as well. That one was also good. Again, it wasn't as much of a like, keep you on your edge of your seat like It Ends With Us was. But again, it was still really good. Ended really well. And I'm glad that um, Colleen Hoover came up with an ending for it because I think that that storyline deserved a proper ending. So I gave that one a four stars. I read that one in five days. Um, at the beginning of November. The next series I have is the um, like Bared to You series. It's Bared to You, Reflected in You, Entwined with You, Captivated by You, and One with You. This is spicy books. If you don't know what I mean, you shouldn't read it. But they're very good. Um, they're not like top of the line writing. They're definitely spicy and that is the purpose of them. But if you pay attention to like the storyline, um, it's a pretty decent storyline. Like it's definitely not literally just spicy. Like there's a storyline behind it. It flows very well enough to make five books that I decently enjoyed all five. So with that being said, that was a pretty good and um, it did, I read through all five of them very quickly. So the next book I read, I read this one. Um, in high school. I think it was my freshman year of high school for school. Um, the Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. This is a memoir and I remember when I read it the first time how like good I thought it was and reading it again as an adult it's still just as good. It really shows you um, like the life of Jeanette Walls and how she overcame the adversity of what she grew up in and um, it's it's a really good book and if you haven't read it I would suggest reading it. The next book I read was The Sky is Falling. So this is about like a really important US like family that all gets murdered and it's about a girl who tries to figure out why. This one was good. Um, I gave it three stars. Like it wasn't as murder mystery as you would think a murder mystery would be. It was definitely more of like an action movie because it's all surrounded by the person who is like trying to figure it out, which it's still good, but again we're getting into the murder mystery okay we're getting into it the next book i read was the other woman this one is about like the other woman being her boyfriend's mom and how like she's crazy um and yeah so this one's interesting it makes me scared the next one i read was lost girls and unsolved american murder by robert colker this one was like a it was like a true story that they put into a book about a bunch of um escorts that went with missing within like this 10 year period and how they found all their bodies on Long Island or on an island near Long Island something like that. Basically just telling the story of all of those girls that went missing um and like talking about their family, talking about who the girls were before that happened, you know. Basically, like, this writer um, went around and interviewed anybody that was important. I really liked it. I thought it was a really good way to, like, memorialize those girls that it affected. And I thought that it did a good job of memorializing them without making them look bad, if you know what I mean. So, yes. The next book I read was Lush, a memoir by Carrie Cohen. And this was a book about a... Um, a woman who became an alcoholic in her 40s after like drinking wine or a bottle of wine every night. Um, <laughs> I don't relate to that at all, but I thought it was really interesting um, simply because of just like how normalized alcoholism is. And then the last book of 2022 that I read was The Tash The Tattooist of Auschwitz. I don't know what I just said. Um, by Heather Morris. This was a book um, that 
I had heard a ton of mixed reviews about it. People saying like it's not accurate, um, but it's a really good story, and just all these kinds of things. And I, it was I was very touched by that book. I thought that um, it did a really great job of kind of showing you what you wouldn't, what people our age or you know people in today's society because we weren't alive, um, <clears throat> showing us what it was like back then and you know it might not have been a hundred percent historically accurate but it still tells me more about what it might have been for people that were in concentration camps than I would have ever known without that or without school so um, I'm glad that I read this and even if it's a banned book in schools I think that it's something that people need to know about and something that people shouldn't shy away from talking about just because of how horrible it it was like I I can't even imagine what it what is what it would have been like to go through that, let alone like what the world was like when that happened. So, yeah. But anyways, as you can tell, I have read. I think Goodreads said I read 36 books in 2022. So my goal for 2023 is 50 books. So that's about. Um, four books a month, I believe, and so far, I've only read one. So, I'm on, I'm reading two at the moment, like a self-help book and a, like, fiction book. Um, I'm pretty good, pretty good of the way through with those ones. I have all of these books behind me to read, so I have a ton to read, and I'm super excited to kind of keep getting into it. Um, so if you guys have any book suggestions, definitely leave them down below. Or if you have any other kinds of suggestions for YouTube videos, for sure let me know. Um, because I would love to do something that you guys would like to see as well as, um, I would like to, you know, read any kind of book that anyone would think that I would enjoy. So yeah, that is going to be it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys would like to see more videos like this, definitely give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and I will see you guys next week. Bye.